Illinois Education News, Episode 11 Reading of Article Blueprint for Success No Longer Means College for All Posted January 30th, 2020 Blueprint for Success For years, high schools have told teens they need to go to college, but the job market might show otherwise. Every year, the United States News ranks its best high schools in Illinois. They take five categories into account. Percent of students who took an AP test, percent that passed an AP test, math and reading proficiency, and graduation rate. Quote, I think that's where we lose the boat. It's not just going to college, it's continuing education. Unquote. Michael Kuhn, Principal of Woodruff Career and Technical Center. None of these metrics matter in students who don't want to go to college. And that is part of the college for all trend that says Richwood's principal, Brett Elliott. Elliott added, in education, we kind of go back and forth. So there was definitely a shift towards more high stakes testing. At Pekin Community High School, counselor Ann Gallinger acknowledged the discrepancies between reality and what has become expected to prepare students for college. College isn't right for every student. There's a lot of opportunities that don't require you to go to college, explained Gallagher. So why don't schools offer more opportunities outside advanced placement classes? Gallinger added, a lot of schools unfortunately lost funding for those programs or are limited where ours continue to thrive. We've interviewed seven seniors at Pekin Community. Tristan Hess, Samantha Curtis, Braylon Oberlin, Jessica Van Dyke, Madison Rudloff, Clay Irabi, and Ethan Baker are all graduating in the spring. Most of them will be going to college while two have chosen a different path. Clay Irabi wants to do an apprenticeship. People that can go into a job right out of high school or an apprenticeship or something like that, they can make more money and be happy at the same time, says Airby. He said he's considered becoming an electrician. Some of these students feel like those careers have a bad rep. Ethan Baker is enlisting in the military. Careers like that are stigmatized. That maybe they couldn't make it into college, he explained. Evan Wooding entered an apprenticeship program with the local Steam Fitters Union 353 in 1995. Now he's the business manager. Their perception has always been, well, that's just a dumb construction worker. Well, they're not anymore because industry has changed. There's been huge advances with the technology, said Wooding. Another area of contention when choosing a future student loan debt. People say that college brings in more money, but you also got student debt, said Kirby. An average of over $29,000 per borrow in Illinois. Pekin senior Jessica Van Dyke explained, Will I pay student loans? Yeah, I'm probably going to be paying off debt for the rest of my life. Houses, cars, things like that. But trade professionals like Evan Wooden say that students aren't fully informed. When asked if these kids will th think the same way about it 20 years from now, he said, No, no they will not, and I don't know how we can bring that reality to life. Engineer turned teacher Andrew Rice says that local schools are getting back to basics and teaching the trades. We have so many skilled laborers that are retiring, that are leaving the industry, and I think we realize, wow, what's going to take their place? There are so many job openings. It's not just the job. There are so many career openings, said Rice. The United States Department of Labor says there were 7.6 million unfilled jobs and 6.5 million people looking for work in January last year, and students are, quote, if we all went to college, then there would be some jobs that would never get done, unquote. Braylon Eberly, Pekin Sr. Governor J.B. Pritzker committed $23.5 billion to infrastructure in the, his capital spending bill and said huge upgrades are in store for the state's neglected highways and bridges. That means more jobs in construction. Eberly added, like, who said that the business job was more important than the trade job? They both are equally important to make society run the way it should. The National Electrical Contractors Association says that 10,000 retire every year, but only 7,000 
join the field. Brandon Curry, who runs an electrical apprenticeship program, says that they're trying to fill that gap. Buildings have got to be built here. The system inside the building have to be put in here, said Curry. In Peoria, programs at the Woodruff Career and Technical Center are taking off. Principal Mike Kuhn explained they need to know the students to reach the students. What do I want to focus on my life and my career on? That's the starting point. Once the students figure out that they want to do is our job in education to try to help students get there, explained Kuhn. Apprenticeship programs for trades are, are another option for post-high school education. Electricians, plumbers, pipe fitters, the whole gauntlet. They're highly intelligent people. They need to know trigonometry, algebra, geometry, explained Evan Wooding. The IBEW says an apprenticeship will earn almost $300,000 during their five-year program. When you get done here, you're just an engineer. You're not just a, a person trained in a, your degree field. You're trained to meet the demands of tomorrow, added Brendan Curry with the IBEW. This is Illinois Education News, Episode 11.